The South African Police Service has reported that all 17 victims killed in Lusikisigi, Eastern Cape, died from gunshot wounds. According to IOL, these tragic events unfolded on Friday night, resulting in the death of at least 15 women among the victims. Minister of Police Senzo Mutlunu, Deputy Minister Kessel Matane, and General Fani Masemola, the National Commissioner of SAPS, are expected to provide further information at a media conference. During an interview with the Newsroom Africa, Masimula stated that the 17 individuals succumbed to their injuries from gunfire. We are still investigating the motives behind these murders and details are limited at this point. We are unaware of how many people survived. All the deceased were shot. We will have more information after thoroughly examining the crime scene, he said. Masimula confirmed that both the shooting accidents are linked occurring at a homestead with two houses situated closely together belonging to the same family. We were alerted to the situation early on Saturday. Upon arrival, police are not permitted to act until forensics arrive. Given the scale of this incident, I have called for a forensic team from Pretoria to ensure a thorough investigation, he noted. One of the survivors, an elderly man, is in a critical condition and another survivor is reported to be a child. The SAPS has indicated that Minister Mkono will later address the press. The minister will inform the media about the murder of 17 individuals in Lusikisiki and the ongoing manhunt for those responsible for these horrific crimes, stated SAPS spokesperson Brigada Atlenda Mati. In one home, 13 people were killed, including 12 women and one man, while four more people were murdered in another house. The total count includes 15 women and two men, with an additional victim in critical condition at a hospital. Mkhoni has assured that maximum resources are being deployed to apprehend the culprits behind these heinous acts.